How are you now? I'm Kevin. Howdy, I'm Travis. And this is H&H &H Prospecting. So we got a big score. We got us a little mini backpack dredge for an absolute still. It does need some work and we're not exactly sure what work that it does need. So we're going to start tearing apart into it. You know, it is just a little two cycle engine. So generally all they need is three things. That's spark, air, and fuel. And uh, yeah, so we're going to see if we can get her going. This could be a good good game changer for us. Once we get it actually going and running, we'll actually kind of walk through and explain more how this whole system works after we get her put, took it apart and put back together. So got the pull starter all pulled off of there. The, luckily for us, the coil on the inside is actually not broken. It just needs to be uh, hooked back up and, and re-spoiled. So we're going to get that all cleaned up. Take a wire brush to that, get that all cleaned up, and then we'll take the carburetor off and the spark plug. Probably clean out the little fuel tank here. You know, I mean, it's just a weed whacker engine, basically. Take this bearing off, make sure it's nice and greasy, and go from there. All right, so we pulled the filter and the carburetor off, and they look clean. I mean, look, they near brand new. I also pulled the uh, spark plug and it was looked brand new itself. A little bit of gunk in there, but not too bad. I mean, all signs say that this thing should fire. Minus uh, getting that, getting the pull start spring respewed. Find out soon enough. All right, so we have unfortunately discovered that the spring that's inside of our pull start is broken. So we will have to replace that. We do need to replace the gas lines that go to and from the gas tank. Up to the card there. And of course, before we even get the thing running, Travis is already making modifications on it. This is the carpet that came with it. And it was just, it's, it's really thick, making it hard for these bars to press down. So what we actually need to do is drill holes for these so our ladder bars stay down. We replaced it with just the regular green miner's carpet in there and then threw a piece of um, talon um, from Gold Hog uh, just left over from one of our other sluices in there at the bottom. And this, this does have this little screen trap down here with another little piece of siding mat and that's just really to show you if you're losing anything. If you have gold down there then you're messing up. So, yeah, basically, hopefully all we have to do is everything inside here looks as clean and as great as we could hope for. So all we got to do is get that pull start fixed and fuel lines and a dredge nozzle and we should be running. It's pretty excited. So I guess we'll continue this video in the next couple days once we get the rest of the parts and get back to it. Eager beaver. Mm -hmm.